Welcome back to Allie's Voice. I'm Allison Love Beatty, and my question today for everybody is, um, is your drug of choice to treat your diabetes mind-numbing? And um, I'm going to define um, mind-numbing here by the, the symptoms of hypoglycemia. And we all know um, up front, hypoglycemia is, according to according to diabetes treatment, it's your fault. You overtreated yourself because um, that's just how it is. That's how doctors are, are taught to define it. It's, it's patient error or it's doctor error because the doctors told you to take too much of the drug to treat your elevated blood sugars. So here it is, right? Written here in WebMD. Um, says hypoglycemia is most commonly a complication of diabetes treatment. It's a complication, okay. I mean, I think it's a little more than that. But um, mild hypoglycemia, again, in the WebMD article, it says um, the symptoms of mild hypoglycemia are usually um, within the blood sugar range of 50 to 70, and it says they can cause nausea, a jittery or nervous feeling, cold and clammy skin, sweating, rapid heartbeat. This kind of sounds like love, but um, no, I don't really feel in love when my blood sugar starts going low. Um, when I used to have symptoms of hypoglycemia, they'd usually set in at the moderate hypoglycemia range, which is basically you're moderate when you're between 40 and 50 because... And that's a smaller range than you have with mild hypoglycemic symptoms um, because your brain is always going to be 40 milligrams per deciliter different than what you're testing the blood sugar in the rest of the body. The, I, this again is um, that, that relative hypoglycemia thing I was talking about before, which is relative. It's relative to the global command system of the body. When you're checking your blood sugar before you go to bed and it's 70, be keenly aware of the fact that that's a blood sugar of 30 in your brain. And also be keenly aware of the fact that when your blood sugar in your brain is nearing 10, so let's just say you check your blood sugar and it's 50, you're like, yeah, I'm low, I better eat something. Yeah, you better eat something because your brain is functioning with 10, 10 milligrams per deciliter. And you don't want to flatline because when you flatline, you're in severe hypoglycemia territory. And it says right there, it can lead to loss of consciousness, seizures, and coma, and it may be fatal. Um, all of these, even the symptoms of, of blurry vision when you're in the moderate hypoglycemia, which, like I said, was the generous 40 to 50 range, Blurred vision, you may feel unsteady, you have difficulty walking. Yes, that's an impairment. That's an impairment throughout the entire central nervous system, including your brain. These are mind-numbing things, ladies and gentlemen. These are clearly explaining that the nature of over-insulinating the body is it's causing mental deficiencies. Now, let me lighten this up for a second. <laughs> Um, Talladega Nights, did you guys see that movie? You know, Ricky Bobby is not a thinker. Ricky Bobby is a driver. Well, I'm not Ricky Bobby, I'm Ali Beatty, and I love the fact that I'm a thinker, and I hang on to that. Pr that's a precious gift, and anything that is impairing my ability to think, and my ability to function, and my ability to see clearly, I don't like being disoriented. I don't like being, you know, not in control of my body. And hypoglycemia too often, um, at, when I was a kid, I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. And I know anybody else out there with diabetes who has gone through any sort of an event of hypoglycemia, I, I think can empathize with me. And that's why I'm saying, you guys, need to question the nature of aggressively treating diabetes and it's it, it could be a lot more catastrophic um, 
to over treat yourself than it can to um, gently listen to your body and you know if if you're more comfortable with a blood sugar of you know 120 130 140 and your doctor's like no 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 you need to keep your your a1c we need to keep it five I'm not saying you know I'm not saying throw your drugs to the wind what I'm saying is really you know be very aware of the fact that over insulinating your body or over treating your body forcing it into hypoglycemia is a very dangerous thing and remember that that 40 milligrams per deciliter difference okay think about your brain first because your brain you know your brain is the organ of thinking it's, it's your gift so take care of it everybody i'll see you next time